Hey everyone. We are out in the shed. So we haven't spent a lot of time out here um, recently enough, but the weather's getting a bit better, so it is nicer to be out in this uh, uninsulated shed. Um, so the reason we're out here today, we're doing some woodworking. Um, now, if you've followed my channel for a while, you may be aware that... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let's try that again. As well as this workshop being cold, it's also disorganized and I dropped a lot of stuff on my foot. But anyway, as I was saying, if you follow my channel for a while, you probably know my favorite building material for wood is plywood. So, uh, this bale of lovely hardwood, you might be asking, what the hell are we going to do with this? And well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some chopping boards today, some laminated chopping boards. Um, I thought of this project a while ago, because I so thought some backstory why we're doing this. This bale of hardwood offcuts I bought from a company called Strahan Timber here in Ireland. And I'll leave a link in the description for Irish viewers if they want to go and check them out. But basically, what they sell is they sell this bundle of mixed hardwoods that are all just kind of a nominal length and they give you some nominal average dimensions that the pieces will be but as you can see they're all totally different dimensions totally different woods um, and there's no guarantee what they're going to be but they'll sell these offcuts in a big bundle for relatively cheap so for someone like me who has a small workshop without a hell of a lot of space this is perfect. If I just need a little piece of hardwood for something, I don't want to go off and buy big expensive lengths. So I can just buy small chunks like this and yeah, it's it's really, really handy. So with that in mind, it's also it's clever from them because they can sell their offcuts without, you know, they have a use for their offcuts that they wouldn't normally be able to sell. Um, these crowd are just a normal timber supplier. And uh, so you would imagine they have lots of offcuts. So band them all together, stick them in a, bun in a bale and uh, sell them for relatively cheap. Everybody wins. Um, so, yes, I, I thought of this project a while ago, but I didn't do it because I wasn't certain. I was thinking about how I'd do it, and I was thinking that if I started putting these pieces together, because they're all mixed dimensions, and that I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't have any, um, I wouldn't have a consistent surface to work off of, so, and I don't have a thickness planer, so I wasn't going to be able to just pass it through the planer to get it to be nice dimensions. What I realized, though, is that I do have a table saw so what I can do is instead of, I was thinking of sandwiching them together and then having to plane them off but what I can do instead is I can pick which piece has the best kind of or the most which dimension is my most consistent across all the pieces and then I can just pass them all through the table saw to get a one cut one dimension to always be the same in all of them and then I can laminate the boards together to be able to make uh, chopping boards so they're going to be quite thick, kind of butcher block style chopping boards. Um, so with all that said, uh, we're going to make it. So we're going to uh, take this out of the bale, figure out the most kind of consistent dimension that I could use that will minimize the amount of offcuts that I'm going to be making. And then, yeah, just going to run a whole load of them down on the table saw and hopefully make a few chopping boards. Okay, so I think these are the pieces I'm going to use uh, for this. So you can see there, if you looked at this, if this is basically what would be like the surface, but it's it's undulating up and down here along its length because these aren't 
right thicknesses so what I am planning to do now is I'm going to pick the smallest piece which I think is this one and I'm going to use that to set the fence on my table saw and then I'm going to pass each of these pieces through lengthways to run them all down so that if I lay all these pieces down like this they'll all be roughly the same height um, I think then what I'll probably do is I'll probably lop them all in half I think that's probably about the right good width for a uh, chopping board so I'll lop them all in half and then I'll interleave them in layers and that will be what I laminate together um, to form the form the form the chopping board um, so we'll see how this works out um, I don't know if there's people screaming at their <laughs> screens right now being like don't do that to this lovely wood maybe uh, maybe I'm Phil Stein um, or maybe I'm making a really fancy chopping board I don't know <laughs> either way it's a fine line between uh, ignorance and, and genius that's definitely not an expression, but it is now. Okay, so it's all cut. I have it layered up in a pattern that I like. So next step, I'm going to rough up the mating surfaces that are all going to be laminated. I'm going to stick a bunch of glue on and yeah, going to laminate it together. Um, you can probably tell pretty easily from the, the layup that uh, not, not perfect uh, alignments, but I can trim all the edges off anyway with uh, uh, with the table saw at the end just to get two clean surfaces and the top surface not perfect either There's some low spots and some high spots but nothing that I won't be able to take care of with some sanding and some some work with the plane as well so yeah reasonably happy so far I uh, don't know if it's going to turn out <laughs> very well but we'll see um, also it's a little smaller than I kind of thought but you know what I'm going to do I'm going to call this the, the tester one and uh, yeah then we can move on maybe make a bigger one clamped up, weighted down, and ready to go, all glued up. Um, so yeah, I'll leave this, um, leave this cure for a couple of days, and then we'll unclamp our clamps and see if we've got a board. Okay, it's a few days later, uh, so let's, 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 let's unclamp this guy and see what we've got. go so that's our laminated board oh 
<laughs> as wonky and crooky, crooked as it is. So that's the, this is the very start. Um, we're gonna have we have a few more steps to do. So we need to see so yeah, the surfaces aren't you know perfectly smooth. Um, which I wasn't expecting they would be because obviously the saw finish is is pretty rough, rougher than you get if you were to have um, planed it to thickness. So what I need to do now is I need to probably just with a hand plane I'll be able to get a pretty damn good finish on this so I'll be able to plane off that and same on this side this is the rougher side so I need to plane this down to get nice and square and then nice and flat and then I'll have to square it up just by taking those edges off um, which I can do on the table saw. But yeah that's the basis of our butcher's block and that's nice and strong. So pretty much just one piece of wood now. So that's pretty cool. So yep, next step, do some planing, then we'll be doing some sanding, take some maybe some of the, the corners off, and then we'll oil it, and then we'll be done. So I just knocked together this uh, little bench hook because I realized I didn't have one and it's actually going to make planing this a lot easier because you can clamp this to the bench, it's nice and solid and you can push against this and that's not going anywhere. So this will make it a hell of a lot easier for me to plane the surface of it. So that's the next part to do, going to do some planing. So that is planing done and a rough first sanding done on each side and that is turning out pretty nicely. Kind of hard to see it but it's pretty smooth on, all around. So uh, next thing I think I'm going to do I'm going to mark off and cut down the edges um, on the table saw just so I make it its final dimensions. and. Then it'll be time to do final sanding and kind of finishing and oiling. Okay, we're in the kitchen is my second favorite place aside from the workshop. I thought it was a fitting way to show you the final, uh, final product in its, in its uh, where it's gonna be the re its home for the rest of its life now, where it'll have much use. So I'm pretty happy with this. I think I got a decent finish on it. It's all oiled up and ready to go. There's a few bits I'm not so happy with. The edge edges here, the, it's a little bit much to ask of my table saw, this thick enough piece of hardwood to go through it. So didn't turn out brilliant, but I'm pretty happy with it. It's a fully functioning uh, chopping board and it looks uh, it looks pretty. So yeah, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me make this. And for the final bit, we'll stick it in its forever home with the rest of the chopping boards. And there we go, that's that. As always guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, if you like this video and you'd like to help support me making more videos, you can have a look in the description for a link to my Patreon. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, do all that stuff. And yeah, that's it. See you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>